Hello and welcome to Scandinavian Photo. And of course, a special welcome to Anders from Canon. Uh, he is here today to show us two new products. We are now launching two extremely high-end cameras. We have the EOS R1 and we have the EOS R5 Mark II. Two amazing cameras with a lot of new features. Okay, so shall we start with the R1 maybe, the flagship model? Yeah, sounds perfect. Can you please tell us a little bit uh, about it? And of course, what is the news on that camera? The news on that camera, everybody knows, I think, the 1DX Mark III. This is the next generation of the 1DX Mark III. And now we have it in the R system. And of course, we have the RF mount. So everything is... Uh, specialized for that, uh, for all our amazing RF lenses, of course. And this is uh, the high-speed camera for uh, sport and action photographers. And you have a resolution of 24 megapixels. And uh, the sensor is totally brand new. It's a Canon stacked CMOS sensor with extremely high-speed readout. And in both cameras, we have now two processors. We have the DIGIC X processor that we are used to, and we now also have a DIGIC accelerator processor. And the DIGIC accelerator processor, I can tell it do almost everything that needs to be done before you take the shot. The autofocus, the white balance, the exposure, and everything around that. And then the DIGIC X processor do, the, do the, everything that's needed for the, for the picture and the quality of that. Okay, perfect. And then we have the other one, the EOS yeah. R5 Mark II. Exactly, exactly. The successor to R5 that has been huge in the market. Yeah, now, so now around four years later, we launched the, the next generation of the R5 series. And both these cameras are, uh, are very similar in, in, in many aspects. But for the, for the R5 Mark II, we have a higher resolution of 45 megapixel. So this is a super all-around camera. It's a hybrid camera, or both are actually hybrid cameras. So they are really, really good at both still and video shooting. We are closer now to our cinema camera in features in this camera with, with similar codecs and similar function and features in the cameras. Uh, we have a lot of things that is in common in the camera, uh, as I can tell about. For example, the IBIS is now raised to 8.5 stop. We had eight before. The small things that could be really good. We have on the top shoe here, we have a locky button so you can, you don't lose it. Uh, so it sits perfectly fit on the camera. 30 frames per second in the R5 Mark II. So it's also a really, really speed freak. It's really, really fast. I don't know if I tell you, but on the R1, we have 40 frames per second. So it's really, really fast cameras. So if we have already a R5, yeah. what, why should I buy this one? We have a better autofocus and we now have a, a, a processor just for that with the DIGIC accelerator. The autofocus is, is better, it's more exact. We have this kind of action priority feature that we can, can use in both cameras. For example, if you're shooting football, volleyball or basketball. So the camera can actually predict what will happen in the sport. Who has the ball? Who will get the ball in the next step? Who will do the score uh, in, in, in soccer, for example? So it's so much easier to get the focus on the right place in the cameras. And also both these cameras have now the eye control AF that we had in, from the beginning in the EOS R3. So just look into the viewfinder where you will have and prioritize the focus. So it's so easy to get the right, right person or right object in focus. And this technology is a lot better actually than it is in the R3. In the R3 it's really good, but it's so much better in these, in these cameras. And for the R1, they have raised the resolution for the for the panel in the viewfinder to 9.44 megapixels, so it's a super, super good viewfinder uh, and also really, really fast. So uh, when can we expect this to come out on the market? For the information we have at the moment, we will start to sell the R1 in November and the R5 Mark II already now in August. Okay, yeah. only 
a short while. Well, only a short while, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Anders. We on Scandinavia Photo really appreciate it. Thank you.